So I'm Matthew Holt with the Healthcare Blog. Now I'm still at the Microsoft campus and still with the Health Solutions Group. And I'm here with Bert Van Hoof. Bert is, uh, official title is Director of Program Management, but uh, apparently they call him around here the device guy. Um, uh, Bert spent a long time, well, I'll put words in your mouth here, Bert, but he spent a long time working on the Windows team, the sort of de uh, device drivers like uh, things that make printers work. I learned, learned this morning there are 14,000 different types of printers that connect to Windows, which strikes me as perhaps at the, uh, the end of civilization that we haven't needed that many types of printers, but anyway. Uh, and a lot of that sort of knowledge has come over, and Hellfall, of course, has got a big um, uh, device uh, connectivity piece as part of what they've been stressing from the start. So, but you're actually going to run a little experiment here, so uh, tell me what you're going to do, and show me, and, and let's, let's see how this actually works in practice. Yeah, so there's a, a number of ways to connect to Hellfall. One is our Hellfall Connection Center, uh, which we can demo separately. Um, that's the big story actually in many ways because there's 50 connected devices and which you can use with any Windows PC to upload data. Those are the regular categories, uh, blood pressure monitors, blood glucose, weight scale, heart rate monitors, pedometers, pulse oximetry. Now there's some new uh, other types of solutions coming on as well. We have a number of kiosk vendors and then we have a vendor like uh, MedApps, which right. we're also excited about. Can you just let's, let's grab, grab, grab this, grab this now anybody All right, it. so explain, this, explain this what that is. Device. What, what? So this is uh, actually a wireless device that can connect to a number of uh, different units. So I'll, I'll use a pulse oximeter from uh, Nonen here. Okay, um, just, uh, all that still when you come in on this. So you're now... Uh, Grabbing your pulse on, on uh, yep, pulse oximetry, so it's the blood oxygen levels. Uh, and probably pulse. can't catch that, but it's going to have a reading on that. Is that reading yet? Yes, I think it does. Yep. So now that went here. Your pulse ox reading is 99%. So this device captured that reading, and uh, once it does that, it can connect wirelessly through a GSM or CDMA connection. Um, so that's essentially using a cell phone connection now. A, a cell phone connection. So this, from here to here was from the... Uh, that's Bluetooth. That was Bluetooth to here, and this is now a cell phone connection, yep. essentially. This is a cell phone connection, essentially, but um, it is not a cell phone for good reasons. Right. Um, these guys have, have done uh, quite a bit of work. They actually started with cell phones. Bluetooth pairing has a bunch of hassles. There's different Bluetooth stacks to profiles, etc. So in the real world, it often is not for everyone. So the PC is also not for everyone, especially when you think of the, the elderly population. Um, and these devices come in handy to, to tackle that kind of audience. The, the devices can come prepared uh, with this unit, and so it's very easy to set up and install. And once you get the data from here to this device, it connects wirelessly uh, into the cloud uploads and gets your data to Help Vault. And you've got another device here, which you're also going to use, the yeah, scale up here. So let's, let's see. Uh, I'm not getting on this one, by the way. Cause <laughs> no, I shouldn't either. But we'll, we'll just go we'll for see. it. So All it's right. calibrating. I can just go on it. My whiteboard right in front of me. And I'll be proudly showing off my weight. Yeah, I think you sound oh, no. sounds probably worth four or five pounds. There, there we go. go. And uh, it'll just it'll, take it'll a moment, on. and then it goes to this device. Still has the pulse ox reading on it, and uh, shortly we'll see. In a couple we'll of seconds, see. it should bum that one off. So, <laughs> so now, uh, so now this is going up. So, come. there we go. There we go. There There's there another way. There we go. Um, Wait from that. Yep. Great. So now, now we've done that. It's yep. it's it's now from gone from here up into the cloud, and it's yep. sitting in the background in your helpful account. Yep. Um, obviously, there are now a number of different applications you could use this. This Correct. data in, and if you have yep. blood pressure data or what have you, for instance, Mayo Health Clinic Manager, with Mayo, <coughs> Mayo Clinic Health Manager, not Mayo Health Clinic Manager, Mayo, <laughs> the Mayo Clinic Health Manager, which is one of the one, one of the uh, uh, the ones that uh, we've have mentioned earlier, which uh, actually I'm currently using a bit as well. It, it, you know, it takes blood pressure readings and it uses that to kind of connect you with where, what you should be and how things should take it. Gives and, you and, guidance you know, and recommendations, all, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but let's see. So now let's see the process. So now let's go to your Health Fall account and see. You know where this data has appeared and how it's appeared. Now, does this do it? Does this uh, does this do it manually, or does it automatically, or do you have to do it? Several, does it do it happen several times a day, or does it do it at a, at a set rate? Or well, so in this it? case, um, I'm doing a new login, so let's get that I'm going. Trying to grab the screen. This is this is my personal account. There we go. Um, so here's you where you get those those readings. I can now get my my weight or the blood oxygen. So why don't you pick up one of those and see? Let's get into the weight. Um, 
170. So yeah, this pushes up on particular moments in time. Right, so this was the last um, recent reading, and then can you can you get the reading that you just uh, that you no? Just so that's until this gives another beep and it connects to the health fault um, back end. All right. You'll get that reading. In okay. There. So we'll, we'll have will that happen? It, it will will that happen? happen. We keep chatting. Or do we need? Absolutely. <laughs> we can get back later. So uh, give me, give me a sense now of now you probably have more direct connected devices uh, to your helpful account and you're probably taking more measurements than anybody else. Give me a sense of how that's getting, how you're using that. Now, I mean, one of the things you mentioned was the the, the pedometer you have. Yep. I'll uh, I'll show that as well. And actually, we could do another reading on the blood pressure monitor right. to show the range here because I just. I just actually uploaded, uh, before we started filming, the, the Omron pedometer is still plugged in, uh, so I can show that. What happened here is this is Health Fault Connection Center, um, and you saw the uh, this one says now PC, so it is connected to the PC. Uh, it just uploaded n nine new items from this pedometer. Okay. The, cool, the cool part about this, and that's really unique about Health Fault is, and, and the device's story, is that now you see these are the devices I own that I plug in on a regular basis. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm a little more nutty than most people. <laughs> um, but uh, with the pedometer, now you can see all the health fault enabled applications that work with this device. And it's a, it's a pretty darn good set already, right? So we have uh, well over 70, um, if you take specific configurations, over 100 applications that are up and running. And so this is the very cool part that you get this referral. So we really, from a manufacturer or an application builder perspective, we increase everybody's sandbox because now the user gets more value because I bought this device, I may have gone to the pharmacy and found this or bought it at Costco uh, and I bought it for a particular reason, I have it in my pocket but once I plug this in I can discover all these other applications right. that I wasn't even aware of they existed. You see the American Heart Association Heart360 application here uh, there's interesting applications like Route Tracker where now I can go compete with my friends track on a virtual trajectory. I can walk from Seattle to Disneyland, for instance, and do that in a mesh with uh, live maps, um, and do that with my friends in Boston, and see which So you're one ba basically us. taking uh, comp competition gaming, what have you, on a virtual basis, yeah, and, exactly. and putting it together, yep. but mixing it with real life. That's and, and we have like Next Fitness there, uh, another cool application where you have a lot of celebrity trainers that, that uh, you can work with. Uh, that's going to mix in um, audio into your music playlists to encourage you and give you personalized advice. Uh, and that works with these type of devices as well. Uh, you see something like Walk Me there, again, where it can... Yeah, why, why, why don't you go and show me that? Because you showed me that earlier. And that, this is one that uh, was built internally at Microsoft, right? Yes. Uh, so this is Walk Me. Um, so this is your. This is how many steps you've walked yep. in the last uh, month or year or week, actually, this one. This is the weekly trend. So you started off pretty well there and then... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is typically... Slacking I, off the last couple of well, days. Well, this, yeah. this is cumulative. So typically I, I do my, my long walks over the weekend right. and then Microsoft keeps me busy during the week. So, yeah, they, they are uh, pretty annoying about that on that. And now the, the Microsoft Health Conference is coming up and, and you see... Um, you see that uh, trailing off, so I'll, I'll do better again over the but, weekend. But you can also show me the, the, the... Yeah, so now I have groups here, and so you can create these these groups. So obviously, we have one at Microsoft, and this so is that, that's, our that's team. all the other people who are... Yeah, so team, I'm, I'm kind of... People will give right. me some, some flack here because yeah, I'm yeah, kind of, yeah, you know... I'm, I'm still good, but uh, I'll, I'll get them we, over the we weekend. We won't scan down and show them with the red No, bar. exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you have the charts on a weekly basis. You can, you can watch over a monthly basis. The cool part with this pedometer is actually that it's not just tracking steps. It's probably the best one in the market right now. It also gives you aerobic steps. Uh, that's where you're actually going to get the, the real heart benefits, and you see that. Oh, I see. So we're, it's tracking uh, sort of speed and intensity as well. Yeah, exactly. So when I'm lounging around in the office, I'm not getting as much as you can see. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just getting steps. Yeah. When I do that long walk over the weekend, then I kick up my pace. I actually get aerobic steps and get, and get uh, uh, credit for that. And so, so you can translate it into distance and, and things like that. So very, very cool, fun application. And it kind of shows the, the whole range uh, of types of things you can do all the way from the wellness space to tracking my blood pressure, getting advice from the American Heart Association, um, or using the Mayo Clinic Health Manager, which uh, we're also fond of, obviously. Um, so that's this one. That's uh, also my personal account. Uh, I can get into my recommendations uh, or the overview. 
Um, and here you have the tools as well, so you can so look at my weight, so my is, blood is, pressure. Is the um, weight that you just recorded, is that in the system yet, or are we, are we not here quite? Uh, do, we, do, we, do we get there quite yet? Uh, not quite yet for, for that one. So it, it's instant with Connection Center. For yep. those kind of wireless units, they go to a back end and yep. then they upload uh, at particular times or you can go in and manually push that kind of data. Um, right. And that frequency can vary depending on, on, the, on, on the service. On service upload mm -hmm. and, and, and scale. So we, we haven't got the data that we recorded earlier. Oh, somebody else has appeared on your device here. <laughs> <laughs> a glucose reading, I didn't know you had that. Yeah, actually, so that's, that's actually interesting too. Let's mention that real quick. Uh, these type of devices can connect to the PC directly. So this is the, uh, the LifeScan uh, OneTouch uh, Ultra 2. Yeah. Um, but these guys also have a connector for it. So th this device also has its own little connector. So if you have non-wireless devices, and that's where, why we like this solution just as much as, as our other solution, because it's, it really bridges a gap. It's for a specific different kind of audience. Um, and so you can, you can plug in these devices right in there, and it, it does the same thing. It's just not wireless. Uh, but it gives you that, that sense of mobility. It's actually interesting. Um, there's, there's an interesting video clip uh, around our Cleveland Clinic activities where people are doing the remote monitoring after they leave the clinic with a procedure where, depending on the department, they may go home with up to five devices. But one of our first customers, um, David Jesse there, is, has been featured online. And when you watch that video closely, you'll see him having both of these devices, both a PC. Uh, and he's a, he's a great example. He's a truck driver. Mm -hmm. And so he's basically saying, well, when I'm at home, I'm, I'm really using the PC because I get the full rich experience because it ties into Cleveland Clinic my chart. Uh, when I upload data, I can see that immediately, uh, look at my charts, etc., so I can have my own interpretation. But when I'm on the road in my truck, I'd rather take this thing with me and I still get my readings in on, on a regular uh, regular time. Um, so it shows that there's no one solution fits all all the time and, and we, we don't distinguish. We, we work with these kind of vendors. We now have three kiosk vendors that are engaged for people who just might end up uh, at retail at a Fred Meyer uh, or a location like that where they can hop on one of those kiosks and get their weight, blood pressure, body fat measurement and get that up into their health vault account. All of those are viable scenarios. So, so just finally, um, give us a sense that now that you've been doing this for a few months or maybe a, a year or so now, uh, a lot of the sort of challenge I mean, people talk about in healthcare is, is getting people sort of in touch with making their experiences and their readings visible and making them aware of them. Now you've been doing it, what's the, what personal changes have you felt now you've been measuring all this stuff? You know, has it impacted your, were you a goody two shoes anyway, has it impacted your behavior? What, what, what's well, different I, about the way you think about uh, Absolutely. I mean, I was just showing the graph on my, my weight going down, so uh, some people on the team have had a, a big impact in that regard. Yeah, it does make you aware. I, I'm, I'm very fond of the Mayo Clinic Health Manager, which was a deep collaboration between uh, Microsoft and the Mayo Clinic. Um, and, and there's some great examples there on, on that personalized advice that hits you right between the eyes. Um, I'm from Belgium originally. I'm about to become a citizen on July the 4th, Ooh, uh, nice very proudly. Um, but it was interesting. My, my son moved with me when he was five. And um, when I started using Mayo Clinic Health Manager, I put in all of his immunization records, some of which were collected in Belgium and some of them were done here in the U.S. And Mayo Clinic instantly pointed out some synchronization issues and things not done at the right time. And my son is 16 by now, but boy, I was reading every letter of that. Um, and there were some really actionable things I could do on what, what do I do now that I discovered that. And it shows the more data you have, uh, the more personalized that advice becomes. And it's very powerful. And the same is true with taking your measurements every day. Uh, I just hop on the scale in the morning. I take my blood pressure. Uh, I can see the effect of when I'm drinking too much coffee, uh, when Microsoft keeps me plugged. Um, <laughs> So yeah, all of that is relevant. A awareness is a big thing, but also getting recommendations from really reputed institutions like Mayo Clinic is, is huge. Um, and, and doing it in a very user-friendly manner, right? So we, we're really focusing all the time on the end-to-end -end experience. And that's why I wanted to show off like the, the connection center. It's not just about getting that device plugged in and upload the data. It is also about how do that, does that connect to these other solutions? How can I discover those. Um, 
And so we, we keep plugging away at that. And, you know, if you look at the first connection center and what that is like now, uh, that's a big difference. If you look at the refinement of some of those applications, uh, having worked with about all of the partners, what I'm very encouraged about is that everybody is motivated and stays in the game. And a lot of these websites are already on a version three. Right. Um, and it's exciting to see that. And, and every time I get more utility, um, more value. And uh, yeah, it's exciting to be on this team, obviously. Yeah. Great, great. So we're talking with Bert Van Hoof, from the, who's uh, we call him the connections device guru from the uh, Microsoft uh, Health Solutions team. But thanks for your time today. You're welcome.